suppose indeed we want to go through the Orion Nebula and go to the throne of God. Here we go. Okay, as we are leaving the Earth here. And of course we'll pass the Earth. We see the Sun there to our right. Now approaching the Sun. And you can see the Orion Nebula there past the Sun. As we pass the Sun, we're probably going over 100 times the speed of light. And approaching Orion, the individual stars will be passing at different times because they're at different distances from the Earth. But it's actually in the sword of Orion, the middle star of the sword of Orion is the Orion Nebula. We're approaching it here, coming closer, coming closer. The Orion Nebula is 1,500 light years from the Earth. That cavern is actually 100 light years wide. You go into the center of that cavern. We're circling around the trapezium cluster here. This is actually something you can see with the home telescope if you're interested in looking at it. You won't see the nebulosity, but you will see the trapezium. Going through the trapezium, continuing past the trapezium as we come to heaven, to the city of New Jerusalem with the foundations of uh, precious stones, the gates of pearl. Approaching now to the temple in the New Jerusalem. The sanctuary. And as we go to the sanctuary, what are we going to end up with? There is indeed right before us, Christ the great high priest. And, and the Ten Commandments. And the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments. It's right before the throne of God. Jesus Christ himself, the author of them all, ministering before the Ark of the Covenant, the Mercy Seat. David, and after we are there, what's going to happen in return? Of course, Jesus, at the time of the second coming, will step out of the most holy place. He will begin to come back to the earth. Of course, Jesus leaving the New Jerusalem there, coming through the open space in Orion. There's the trapezium now. As you exit Orion, that great bowl configuration surrounding Jesus on his return will, of course, be millions and millions of angels surrounding him. Of course, as Jesus himself speeds toward the earth at thousands of times the speed of light. He will have to slow down as he approaches the earth. Coming through the solar system, he passes the sun. Of course, doing many times the speed of light until he gets close to the earth slows down, the people on the earth will first see a dark cloud. And as that dark cloud gets a little closer, a little brighter, a little brighter, and it finally lights up the sky. And as it lights up the sky, those people who are alive and waiting for Jesus will welcome him. They'll say, Lo, here is our God. We have waited for him. In Revelation 14, 12, here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus.